Oh, Anton is uh, very um, engaging and is really excellent at catching the audience's attention. Anton's a really dynamic presenter. Um, we've really enjoyed listening to Anton. Anton Giddy was a fantastic facilitator who was energetic and engaged the whole time and really brought the best out of the people. Do me a quick favour. Please turn to the person beside you and just look at them just for a second and say, oh no, he's interactive. <laughs> 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 his passion for his subject is uh, so obvious and it uh, really involves the whole audience in what he does. Any electrical people in the room, just out of interest sake? Or, oh great, right down the front. Just throw your hand up really hard. Just own it mate, own it. Hi, my name's Anton Guinea and I've been working with leaders for 17 years to help them lead under pressure to create conscious control, especially when they're in those high emotion or decision making states. But he's also very much a people person, so if you're looking to combine people, health, communication and relationships, I think Anton is a really go-to person. I just want to pay my respects to anyone that's been through grief, trauma, hurt, challenge, and we've all built some resilience coming out of that. So I'm a mental health first aider, so that's really important to me. I've, I've studied psychology as well so that I can really un, unpack how to help other humans and how to be someone that, that people feel comfortable talking to. It's really important to me as part of my journey to help others and help you as leaders. I'm also going to talk about psychological safety today. Big, big topic. It's actually more important than physical safety. The challenge with psychological safety is you can't see it. Physical safety you can see. And psych safety is about people being willing to share their ideas and opinions without fear, without retribution, without resentment, without ridicule. So that's, if you've got a psychologically safe organisation, what that means is that people are willing to go to their leaders with ideas and opinions and share, share what's in their heart and what's in their mind. My dad got a phone call to say that his 21 year old son had been electrocuted. Now my dad got the call to say that I was fatally injured, dead, deaded basically. You better get to the hospital to identify a body. By the time I'd got to the hospital, so I'd been badly injured at work, I'd been blown up in a switchboard, so I hadn't been electrocuted, I had this thing called electric shock. And not only electric shock, I had what we call arc flash, arc blast. And it usually results in second to third degree burns where skin's blown off and like, you know, you're really, 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 really badly injured. And that's what happened to me. Basically, I'm gonna tell you that story soon this morning. I'm gonna tell you what that was like going through that journey. That's not what today's about, but I just, it's part of my story and it's really what I wanna share as part of why I do the work that I do now. And by the time I got to the burns unit, uh, to the intensive care unit in Gladstone, dad was getting there, dad was doing cartwheels because he worked out I was alive, right? And I couldn't work out why he was so happy, which was a bit weird. Now I've packaged all of that up, all of that experience into one hour sessions, into individual coaching, into two day programs. And I'd love to come and work with your team, your business.